Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. AITA for calling my wife every morning to wake her up? My little guy is 20 months old, and my wife is a stay-at-home mom while I work six days a week, usually out of the house for 12 hours. Our son has a solid routine, sleeps great, and wakes up around 8, 0 every morning. Since I can't be there in person, I check in on him through the nursery cam app on my phone to see how he's doing, and I always notice him awake, standing in his crib, just waiting. It bugs me that when I check, usually around 9, 0, or sometimes closer to 10, 0, he's still just there, awake in the dark, and my wife is still asleep. When I see that, I turn on the nightlight through the camera, tell him, good morning, and I love you, and he'll usually laugh and say, dada. Then, I call my wife to wake her up because she's still knocked out, and it usually takes three or four calls before she finally picks up. When she does answer, it's clear she just woke up, and I tell her that our son is awake and waiting for her. This morning was no different, except when I asked her if she was going to get him after using the bathroom, she said no. She was going to make breakfast first and then get him. That's when I asked her to grab him right after the bathroom so he could join her in the kitchen. She lost it. She told me I piss her off by calling every morning to tell her how to be a mom and that she already has a routine. I shot back saying, well, your routine sucks because he's been awake for an hour and you'd still be sleeping if I hadn't called. It really bothers me that my son has to wait in his crib so long. He needs a diaper change, is probably thirsty or hungry, and just wants to play. But now, I'm second-guessing myself. Should I stop calling every morning? Am I wrong for feeling this way? I did. All right, so let me clarify a few things because this post blew up more than I ever imagined. First off, I absolutely do not think my wife is a bad mom. She's an amazing woman and a great mother. I love her, and I hate how some people jump to conclusions about her from the limited info I gave. This wasn't me trying to bash her, but I get why some of you saw it that way. The whole reason I call her every morning is that it stresses me out to see my son awake for so long without anyone getting him. My wife and I talked about this afterward, and she admitted she's been staying up too late and now has alarms set to fix her sleep schedule. As for medical stuff, yeah, I left that out originally. And I get why people think I was trying to hide something, but that wasn't the case. She's dealing with postpartum depression, which is being treated by a professional. She's on medication one usually prescribed for ADHD or narcolepsy because her doctor thinks it helps with her energy levels. It seems to be working. She has low vitamin B12, but it's not a full-blown deficiency. Her levels are just lower than ideal, and she's taking supplements. The blood work came back mostly normal, and her doctor didn't find anything else to explain her chronic fatigue. Her chronic fatigue seems to be partly due to poor sleep habits, she stays up late on her phone, sometimes moves to the living room after I've fallen asleep, and struggles to fall asleep at a decent hour. We've disagreed on the cause of her tiredness. She thinks it's insomnia, I think it's the late night phone use. Either way, it's a vicious cycle. I understand that people thought I was micromanaging or spying on her, but that's not what's happening here. We've got two cameras in the house, both in our son's room, one for a wide-angle view and one directly above his crib. They're only useful when he's in his room, and I'm not creeping on my wife throughout the day. We've talked a lot since this post blew up. There were some tears but a lot more laughs. We've agreed to work on things and she's set up alarms now to wake up earlier. I didn't mean to paint her in a bad light because she really is a fantastic mom. We're in this together, and we're figuring it out. Why did two? Clearing up more details. A couple more things. My wife does not have narcolepsy. I said the meds she's on are usually used to treat narcolepsy or ADHD, but that's not her diagnosis. Also, she doesn't have ADHD. Lastly, I didn't realize how quick people are to add their own details and twist the story. I shared what's going on in our lives and the responses helped us work through some things. But wow, y'all really ran with this. AITA for crashing my wife's 30th birthday party? My wife just turned 30 this week, and for context, I'm a 26M. We've always had a strong bond, and I love her more than anything. Over the past year I've gotten closer to her childhood best friend, Jimmy 28M. I didn't really know him that well before, but now he feels like an older brother to me. My wife always throws these amazing, all-out birthday parties for me, and I wanted to return the favor for her big 3-0. She's more on the quiet, introverted side, so I figured a private romantic surprise would be perfect. Just me and her. I thought I'd make it extra special by learning how to paint, 
because it's her favorite art form. I wanted to surprise her with something I created myself. Jimmy's a super talented artist, so for the last two months, I've been taking secret lessons from him. My wife noticed me hanging out with Jimmy more than usual, but I kept things vague because, duh, I didn't want to ruin the surprise. She's made a few comments but never seemed upset. Fast forward to her birthday. I planned the whole day. I decorated the house, made a cake of thank you, YouTube tutorials, got her flowers, the works. She was supposed to come home around 5.30, but as the hours ticked by, she didn't show. I called Jimmy to see if he knew where she was, but he hadn't seen her either. Finally, I checked her location, and she was at a restaurant with friends, friends I'd never met before. I think they're from her work. Here's the thing, my wife never goes out like that. She's super low-key, so this whole situation felt off. When I got to the restaurant, she was sitting there, kind of sad-looking, eating birthday cake with these random friends. No smiles, no energy. I thought maybe she was upset because she didn't know about the surprise I had waiting at home, so I walked over and told her we should leave. We grabbed her things, and on the Uber ride back, she didn't say a word. At home, when she saw the setup, the decorations, and the gift I had worked so hard on, she started crying. Since that night, she's been sleeping on the couch, avoiding me. My wife hasn't talked to Jimmy either. I told my mom about the whole thing, and she called me an asshole. I don't know why. AITA? To answer some questions? She never told me she was making plans with friends. She didn't even tell me she had new friends in the first place. She was out with friends that I've never met before. She doesn't really have friends, so this is new slash weird. I never got to give her my present. My wife doesn't normally have plans. My wife doesn't like loud environments where people talk a lot. It's overwhelming for her. She looked sad at the restaurant and wasn't animated at all. When I said, let's go home and took her hand, she got up immediately and started packing up to leave. I didn't tell her about the surprise. I wanted to get her in a better mood. It was Jimmy's idea not to tell her anything, even that I'm taking art lessons. I'm a blabbermouth, and he said that not tipping her off to anything would be the best way she'd be totally surprised and happy. But I screwed it all up. Looking back, maybe I should have clued her in on the surprise, but I really thought she'd love it. I didn't expect her to make other plans, she never does. I just wanted to do something special for her 30th, and now I'm sitting here feeling like I messed up big time. Was I wrong for crashing her party and bringing her home, or was it reasonable considering the surprise I had planned? Thanks for watching till the end, wishing you an awesome day, feel free to drop a comment if you've got more to share, I'd love to hear from you.